Negan versus the governor. This is an all-time debate between Walking Dead fans. Who would win in a fight? Now, this is not my first versus video I have done. I've done one about Darth Vader versus Thanos and the Punisher versus John Wick. So this time we're actually gonna have a fight within the same universe between two characters, but they've never overlapped with one another. So I figured it would make an interesting video. Now, before we get any further, spoilers are ahead for all of The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead comics. And also I just wanna say that this is just purely my opinion. This whole video is super subjective and you can feel 100% different about how I feel about these characters. And that's okay, you should let me know down in the comments why I'm wrong, why I'm right. Before we get into this, I'm going to try and not talk about the comic book counterparts of these characters too much because I feel like both of them are very different than what we saw on screen compared to the comic characters because to me, the governor is very different in the comic book compared to the show and Negan is a little different within the show compared to the comic book. So I'm gonna try to keep it within the show and not compare the comic book too much. So Philip Blake, AKA the governor showed up in The Walking Dead in season three, and then he survived into the mid season finale of season four. And over that span of time, he killed a lot of our favorite people, a lot of heroes, and he's pretty much the ultimate sociopath The Walking Dead has seen. He just murdered people at the end of season three for no real reason other than he was just kind of mad at him and he is truly one of the best villains within the walking dead and he was a true foe to rick and hell i think he would have killed rick if it wasn't for michonne i mean rick was just about all but dead before michonne came and saved the day there's a few things about the governor's arc within the show that i don't necessarily love but we're going to kind of overlook that for now and we're going to kind of give a brief synopsis of negan so negan shows up at the end of season six with the all-time famous cliffhanger that everyone absolutely hates and that set off Negan's journey into The Walking Dead. Love it, hate it, it happened, the cliffhanger happened and Negan took Abraham and Glenn from us from The Walking Dead and he killed various other people along the way too. But Negan is more calculated and he's not just a person who just kills for no real reason. He feels like everything he does is a justified reason where the governor just kills people to kill people or just sets a building on fire to set it on fire where Negan truly believes he's doing something and he's doing it for all the right reasons because let us not forget Negan is killing Glenn and Abraham because Rick and the gang killed a bunch of people at a satellite outpost so it is technically in a way justified from Negan's point of view and Negan was only going to kill Abraham to start with if Daryl didn't come out and punch Negan and then that is what got Glenn killed so to me Negan is a bad guy for a lot of the shows run yes but it's never as sociopathic as the governor it is out of a place of power and wanting order and thinking he's doing the right thing to kind of maintain some humanity I guess you can say within the crazy world of The Walking Dead. And he's trying to do it to save his people, which, you know, you can you can understand that. But who would win in a fight? I think they both size up each other pretty well. I think they're pretty much the same size guy. I mean, I think they're both, what, 6'2 to 6'4, somewhere in there, both David Morrissey and JDM. And they're right around the same weight. I think Negan's a little bit skinnier than the governor would be, but really they're pretty much the same. Now, would the governor or Negan fight, say, dirtier than one or the other? Now, that is an interesting question because you would think the governor would probably be a little more dirty in a fight, but I think Negan would be right there with them because, well, it is Negan. You know, he's probably going to think how to get the upper hand in some way or another. And you have to think about it this way. The governor was nearly killed by Michonne in season three. If it wasn't for Andrea coming into that room, Michonne probably would have killed the governor. So I don't necessarily know how good of a fighter the governor really is. And I guess in saying that, I'm kind of knocking Rick when the governor almost killed Rick, but Rick was shot so I guess I'll give him a little bit of a pass there. And he did just watch Herschel die and he knew his, his home, the prison was falling. So I guess I'll give Rick a little bit of a pass and I'll just bump up Michonne just being an ultimate badass. I mean, she was right there killing the governor the first time and then ultimately, obviously, Michonne kills him. But who would win in a fight? Now, do they have weapons? Do they not have weapons? The governor always carried a pistol on his hip and he always had a, a machine gun of some sort, it seemed like. And Negan is just known for having Lucille, his baseball bat. And yes, Negan always seems to have a knife on him and a gun on him in some way or another when he was the lead savior. And I guess it just really depends on the setting of the fight and like I said, what they have at their disposal. So should we place it around a tree like the Rick and Negan fight? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. That was, 
that was pretty lame. So if it was just in a, say a neighborhood-ish area and they didn't have guns at their disposal, let's say, they said they had knives and baseball bats. Let, let's say that because guns, it just, it would not make it unfair, let's say, but it would just make it more complicated than it needs to be. Cause let's just kind of say it's a good old, just knockout drag out fight. And I have a hard time seeing Negan dying in this fight, but I also don't seem necessarily winning. The governor seemed to have the upper hand in a lot of fights that he had in The Walking Dead other than the fight with Michonne. And Negan, you don't really see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe, fist wise with someone very much within the show. He's very uh he's very good at fighting, but it's usually against walkers or anything like that. And if he does fight another human, it's with Lucille or he has something else at his disposal to kind of help him out. Where the governor, you do see him kind of go fist to cuss with people, just hand-to-hand -hand combat where Negan, I can't remember a time where he really does that. So with that said, I feel like the governor has a little bit of the upper hand in this fight, but it's Negan, you know, of course he's going to say some great one-liners and he might come in with a knife from his boot to stab the governor or something like that, but the governor is an absolute psychopath. So maybe he has a knife in his heart or something like that or in his stomach and he still can kill Negan in some way or another. It is truly a tough call. And this is not taking into account the people of Woodbury or the Saviors. This is just a one-on-one -on -one fight in a neighborhood-esque area. And I guess we also have to take into account, are there walkers around? Because, well, that would honestly make a big difference because we saw the governor many times use walkers at his disposal and Negan too, but I think to a lesser successful extent. I know he dips his bat and other things like in guts and stuff, but it feels like the governor was able to maneuver the zombies a lot better in certain situations, at least to my recollection. I feel like the governor would be the one to try something a little more dirty than Negan, even though Negan, like I said, would have like a knife in his boot or something like that. So with a few of these things that I said, who would I truly take in this fight? I know it's been a, a, a long lead up, but you know, I kind of got to set the ground at least a little bit. And before I say, who I think would win in a fight. I gotta say, Negan is my favorite villain out of the two. I do like Negan a lot more than the governor. I actually like the governor in the comic more. I know I said I wasn't gonna get in the comics, but I like the governor in the comics more, and I like Negan within the show more than his comic counterpart. But I think if it was just the show Negan, the show governor, I think the show governor would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Negan. I, I just feel like there is some way or another that the governor would just get the upper hand and since he's just the governor, he wouldn't think twice about murdering Negan where Negan, say if he was get the upper hand, he'd probably have some speech or some smart ass comment that may end up costing him in the long run because as he's like, you know, monologuing about how much better he is and how he couldn't be beaten or something like that, that's when the governor may strike and he would actually kill Negan or something like that. And I just ultimately see the the governor being better at hand-to-hand -hand combat than Negan. Like I said, Negan can take on walkers with Lucille and or other weapons at his disposal, but in a fisticuffs match, I really think the governor would have the upper hand here. Something I just forgot about and I just remembered right now, remember when the governor and Merle kind of went at it? The governor bit off Merle's fingers. If that isn't crazy, I don't know what is. I know Rick bites out a dude's throat, but at the time in season three, that was crazy to see. And I just don't know and or think Negan would go that far where the governor would. He is that bonkers. He would do something like that to kill Negan. So it is really a tough debate between the two, but my definitive answer for this video, I'm gonna take the governor over Negan. And if you want my opinion on the comic book real quick, I think I would flip flop them. I think the comic Negan would kill the comic governor for various reasons. One, the governor only has one arm in the comic book. And I think Negan is a lot more of a villain and honestly a little bit meaner and a little bit less conscious of what he's doing within the comic book. So I think you'd have a easier time killing the governor and Negan is a much more imposing figure within the comic book than the governor is within the comic book. So I think Negan would have that advantage for sure. So Negan in the comic book would win and I think the governor in the show would win for various reasons that I already went into. So of course, like I've said at the beginning of this video, this is just my opinion. This video is super subjective and I could have forgot about some fights within the show that would maybe help weigh Negan's chances of winning compared to the governor's and vice versa. But this is all off the top of my head. I'm a big Walking Dead fan and I feel like I remembered most of the big fights for Negan and the governor quite well. And just overall, I think the governor would beat Negan in a fight one-on-one. -on -one. So with all that said, what are your thoughts on Negan 
versus the governor. I want to know your thoughts down below. Who would win? Who would lose? And also let me know their comic counterpart, who would win and who would lose. And while you're down there, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching.